Hey guys, I am Nick and in this tutorial I will show you this really cool liquid paint growth or morph effect. We will be using Volume Builder and Cinema 4D, no Houdini, no simulations. This is a really great tutorial or technique uh, if you want to show some sort of a previous or just do some R&Ds without like wasting your time to do a proper simulation. But uh, yeah, it definitely I think it looks cool and let me show you how to create it. So we will be using this free model of uh, Benjamin Franklin. I, I think write me in the comments how many times I actually used this Benjamin Franklin statue. And yeah, we will be we'll be using volume builder. So actually we will need two uh, stages. So one that's our like the statue and the second one should be our paint that kind of reflects or actually follows the geometry so let's drop um, where it was where's our volume builder then we need the volume measure so now we have our Benjamin Franklin inside our volume measure and here in the builder um, yeah I think we can go with these 10 so no definitely 10 wouldn't work let's say 3 Nope, still not enough. 0.5 maybe. Yeah, 0.5 is good. And let's check what do we have here. Yeah, it looks good. We can imagine that this is our, basically this is our paint. And what we want to do is to drive it from bottom to the top. You can make the effect look like, like it's actual paint going, going down, but let's just, I don't know, reverse gravity for the sake of more interesting result. And here we will need a cube, and this is just to show you how to do that. Uh, let's uncheck volume builder and volume measure just for now. And here I would say try to actually make it the size of your kind of like the statue in this case or your memory mesh. So something like this would work. And here if we check the volume builder and volume measure and go inside of the volume measure, uh, not, not measure, but builder, and we switch it to be, I think, subtract, put our cube a little bit up, let's say like this. Yeah, cool. So it deletes deletes some, some parts of our mesh. And here we can get to our cube and set up the segments of the X to be, I don't know, maybe 100 by 100 by 100. And actually, yeah, let's turn off the volume builder once again, just to visualize what we are doing here. And what we are essentially doing is changing to growth. And maybe 150, oh no, not 1000, 150, 150 and 150. And here let's add a displacer. You can hold shift. Let me show you. So you target your cube. You go to the your deformers. Here you hold shift and like release the mouse and goes under the geometry you selected. It's the opposite with uh, with let's say cloner where you hold the control, so the cube goes under the cloner or the selected generator. But for the deformers, you can hold shift and the deformer go will go under the geometry. So in our displacer, we can shade it, uh, set the noise to be, we can go with the noise, but I think maybe, maybe turbulence or something. Yeah, maybe turbulence. So here, what we want to do is to remap the noise and let me show you how to do that i think in the in the object intensity direction should be planar and we want it to be only yeah only the vertical noise also here in the shading we don't want it to be lower than the actual geometry of the cube we want it to be more of a spikes, not dips. So we need to set up our low clip. So now, yeah, we should we should do something like this. So basically, high clip is zero and low clip is, I don't know, maybe 77. That's good. 
and global scale yeah we can actually it looks uh, like a good base for the some sort of terrain or environment let's also set the animation speed to be 0.2 i think we don't want anything crazy but all right so we have our geometry and we will definitely play more with these and now we can turn on our volume measure and volume builder and you can see it already starts to feel like a paint but only if i enable our initial benjamin and you see that we don't see any yeah this 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 one doesn't look like in great paint effect so what we will need to do is here add a reshape layer and this reshape layer will thicken our geometry but this is obviously too extreme so let's set it to be like one centimeter or even 0.5 it depends if you want like thicker paint you can go with a one or two centimeters in this case and if you want just just a small layer you can go with a 0.5 i think let's go with a one here in the reshape yeah and here in the displacer let's go back to our noise and maybe get the scale down to 150 i think we can experiment with this maybe try 75 percent on the scaling and here yeah so basically when you update your scale don't forget that we also should update the scale not the scale but height and let's try like six centimeters and this one looks more realistic than like when we have these blobs here so maybe even like three centimeters so it all depends on like the numbers you input but yeah i will show you how to create and what numbers i used for the example in the preview but basically with these uh, settings you can control how organic your paint looks there this is the base formation like for for this tutorial and for the animating you just get your cube you set it up where you want it to be let's say we want the paint to grow from the bottom to the top so we set it up here and let's say on the frame 90 it should be here and now if we enable our volume builder now it is completely covered in paint here in the first frame it does not have any paint let's say at frame 30 it has just this part also if you want you can add a smooth but i would say it's optional but it, it gives you even more organic look here and let's say at frame 60 yeah it's covering him up and yeah it looks cool i think just needs a bit more detail because this one with the with the smooth layer also you can control the strength of the smooth layer so i would say there should be some sort of like balance but yeah it all depends on the scaling of this noise here so i think you got the like algorithm or like basic things to do and now let's take a look at the actual numbers for displacers and all that stuff that worked for me again this will be available on my gumroad and my website so if you want to check it out please take a look and maybe buy it this is how i can dedicate more time doing these tutorials let's enable all of them and here obviously i have set up the cameras i've set up the lights so we will fire the octane just in a bit so here let me show you first of all let's let me show you the lights so this is our backlight this is our key light and this is our you kind know, of like fill lights from the softer shadows if you want like mm, this Houdini cinematic stuff you can just yeah do it with a with a more contrast and if you want, don't want to use area lights you can use HDRI which is also a pretty good option but yeah I tend to use these for like 
even more dramatic look. I think it fits good in this exact project. So yeah, I attached a rock material and our paint is specular material with a bit of roughness, a bit of reflections. And here in medium, we're using random walk medium. Radius is set to 0.4, albedo set to, I think, pure black. And density is set to 10. And for the actual simulation, I have this same cube. And here in the volume builder, uh, the voxel size is set to be 0.3. Reshape layer is set to be one centimeter. And in our cube, I'm using both displacer and smoothing. So for the displacer, I'm using 15% for the 15 centimeters for the height direction planar like it was there and yeah there there's the sketch with the noise so i scaled this noise like differently for three axes and this gives this more of a like liquid splashes or something effect because if we scale the global it will scale yeah you know globally so all the on all the axes it will be the same scaling but here the cache is to be uh, here in the relative scale set to 10 and animation speed here is set to be 0.4 noise uh, type is actually just noise and yeah that's that's it for for my example and yeah a bit of smoothing why not and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it and for this take I think I was rendering just how the paint kind of like goes here on on this part but if we get our cube and let's say yeah let's get it 300 where it was so it feels completely like submerged in this thick black paint and here it is how it i don't know it, it's like a like a spider-man cartoon i don't know the the exact like episode but there was like with the venom i think or no i don't remember really so yeah this is the quick tutorial i really hope it was helpful for you and if it was please subscribe to my channel i will try to do this stuff regularly because i'm full of client work and uh, really want to push on on tutorials and i'm extremely grateful for everyone of you who is purchasing my tutorials and i'm really glad to see what you can do with the techniques i teach here thanks a lot guys i will be back soon bye